um, Shakespeare were alive today, I wonder what media he would be making. I believe he may well be, he will be making um, multiplayer video games, or iApps, or even transmedia experiences, because while he was alive, he worked across many media that were available to him. He created sonnets, poems, he wrote books, operas, and of course, many plays. And in those works, he explored themes such as love, treachery, the terror of power and politics, religious intolerance, and uh, xenophobia. And it's those themes and the quality of the work that he made that keeps his work socially relevant today. Now, in our society that is so media-soaked, it's not surprising that we're now beginning to discuss the social responsibility of media and media makers. But in raising those questions, we also ask a number of others which are difficult to address, one of which is, is it, is it reasonable and is it correct to require that creatives, whether they're game makers or television makers, filmmakers or media makers of any sort, should be responsible, socially responsible, during the process of creation? And a second uh, question is in how far we should try and preempt media works that may prove to be socially irresponsible. Because storytelling has always been one of the main ways that humans have learned and learned to understand the world around us. And in that storytelling, we found ways to form groups and identify with each other. And in our, in our entertainment today, we see uh, love stories, romantic comedies, science fiction thrillers, ghost stories, political dramas. And in all of those forms, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and in all of those forms, we're, we're finding um, uh, the same kind of exchange of ideas. And of course, within that entertainment, um, we also find exploitative media, uh, the most obvious of which would be pornography. And that is seen in general to be a uh, impoverishment of culture. But I would not like to be the censor that would have to decide exactly what is poverty today or what is uh, pornography. I wouldn't like to be the censor that would have to try and make uh, sense of what would be meaningful culture. And in the same way, I wouldn't like to have to be the policymaker that would try and form uh, an idea of what would be socially relevant media. Because I think that uh, where the output of uh, media, the output of the, of the creative work can be socially relevant, it's not the job and it's not the responsibility of the artist to try and be socially relevant during creation. It's much more uh, an issue of following his creative spirit and is an, an idea of what may well be important work and important issues to pursue. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you.